Snowden, I get a lot of you presentation yeah. over there, so I'm going to literally fly. <laughs> um, Worked for McCormick for uh, to, to almost 14 months. Um, it's the world's largest head in the smart company, and I was just buying uh, industrial flavors, uh, consumer bunch for which is about 60% um, of our market share. Um, but I'll leave it to the McCormick presentation in a couple of weeks and we'll explain more about the brand and that kind of thing. Um, this is my job description, which my, my boss dream on me the other day. Kind of very uh, the main part of my job was, uh, was working with transport, scaling up. Um, someone was saying earlier about scaling up from um, uh, from lab bench to, to factory. So I was uh, scaling up from 300 gram seasonings in the lab to uh, two and a half ton blends um, uh, in the factory. Um, so there was a lot of kind of working with kind of cross-functionally with the guys on the floor as well. Um, I also working with the guys in uh, um, income from finance to. Um, so in general, within the general dog's body, um, kind of some of the same the hours as well, yeah, it turns a bit, kind of a bit rough sometimes. Um, we were a bit lucky because our, our shift came on at six, so it was a bit, a bit nicer, but uh, there's also kind of the, the, the odd night thrown in uh, kind of thing as well. Um, so it's positive experiences, um, I understood life in the real world, it's a little bit different to being a student. Um, I had a great time, I learned a massive amount about the food industry as a collective, and much better than calling um, I've learned a lot of personal skills through working through and from working with the guys on the lab floor. Um, you work with them in a different way to you work, work with your VP and that kind of thing. Um, yes, it's shallow, but hey, that's always a bit of a nice thing. And um, got used to kind of the working day and you know, leaving your work behind at the end of the day, which is really good. Uh, difficulties and obstacles, um, yeah, you can't skip work because you're hungover. Um, the learning curve is very steep, especially when you're kind of being thrown in in a company where you're the only placement student, where a lot of people don't see you as a placement student, they just see you as the guy from R&D. Um, and you can probably count as a negative moving away to an unknown place when you don't know anyone, um, especially when you're kind of, kind of so used to running. Um, yeah, so working with a wide range of people again, cross-functionally, but also kind of socially, getting to know the, the people all across the business. Um, my advice to you, I mentioned it all earlier, but find a place where you're not blinkered, where you can get involved in anything you want to. A lot of the guys have said they're kind of not interested in what they thought they were interested in to start with, so it's as good as finding the negative experiences as well as the positive experiences. I've kind of reinforced my aim that I want to get into the process, um, it's something I enjoy, um, and it's a good chance to kind of get out of the office a little bit. Um, speak out, ask as many questions as you can. They're not going to think you're stupid. They know, most people know English too, so just ask away. Thank you.